Well, hello there, honey. I hope you had a wonderful day, and I hope you're ready for Christmas. And in honor of Christmas, I found this book called When Santa Lost His Ho, Ho, Ho. Look at all the pretty envelopes from all over the world. Going to Mr. Claus. When Santa Lost His Ho, Ho, Ho by Laura Rader. Look at that silly reindeer. Christmas was just a few days away. The North Pole was buzzing with activity. The reindeer were prancing their takeoff, and the elves were putting finishing touches to the toys with lots of help from Mrs. Claus. Look at those silly elves. Oh, look, there's Santa. Santa looked tired. We need a little break, he said. How about a song and a dance to get us going, asked Mrs. Claus. Music and laughter rocked the workshop, but something wasn't right. Something was missing. Santa was quiet. Look, Mrs. Claus is kind of concerned. So is the puppy dog and the elves about Santa. What is it, dear? asked Mrs. Claus. Have you lost something, sir? asked an elf. Santa scratched his head. He cleared his throat. You could say that, he said. What is it? asked the elves. We'll help you find it. Everyone waited for Santa's answer. I think that I've lost my laugh, he said. Everyone gasped. Oh, no. Santa has lost his ho, ho, ho. This was serious. How could there be a Christmas without Santa's ho, ho, ho? Santa tried some of his home remedies, but they didn't work. This should tickle your funny bone. Look at that. It says he got a prescription for laughter. He went to see Dr. Giddy. The doctor prescribed funny movies and a large dose of jokes. Oh, look, there's the elves. Everyone was eager to help. Look at the animals. But the best Santa could manage was a ha-ha, a weak yippee, and a faint yee but no ho-ho-ho. Look at that. The local paper broke the news. Reporters and photographs gathered outside Santa's workshop. Santa lost his ho, ho, ho. Have you heard my laugh? Rewards for return. The story was big. Around the world, people heard the news. Look at all the people. Oh, no, they're all worried. It can't be true. Back at the North Pole... The elves and Mrs. Claus kept trying to say, help Santa find his ho, 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 but nothing worked. The reindeer even offered a surefire remedy, Coco. Santa enjoyed it, but his laugh was a no-show. Look at all the letters. Oh my goodness, there's so many letters. Santa decided to check his mail. He's always read every single letter himself, but he's been so busy trying to find his ho, ho, ho that the mail really piled up. Mrs. Claus noticed that Santa had looked tired and every bit cranky. Mr. Claus, she said, please go take a nap. We'll organize your mail. Now scoot. Well, maybe just a few winks, Santa said. Look at Santa. Santa settled in for a short winter's nap. Mrs. Claus and the elves got busy. They opened the mail. They sorted all and put in a neat stack. Look at all these wonderful letters, said Mrs. Claus. And some of these unusual gifts. It's a pasta, Santa. Look at the drawings. Mrs. Claus held up the drawings from the girl named Holly. Look at this one, she exclaimed. The elves and Mrs. Claus laughed until they cried. I have an idea, said Mrs. Claus. Gather the letters and follow me to the workshop. Look, they're all so excited. <laughs> they took all the letters, even the reindeer carrying letters. We'll have lots of room up here, Mrs. Claus told the elves, but hurry, Santa will be awake soon. Look, there's Santa coming down the stairs. Santa woke up from his nap, not feeling much better. There, there's still no sign of his ho, ho, ho. He heard giggles coming from the kitchen. Sounds like everyone's having fun, said Santa. I'll join you after I read some letters. Your mail is in the workshop, dear, said Mrs. Claus, so you can sit in your favorite chair. When you read, said the postmaster elf, Great idea, said Santa. Look, there they all eating cookies. 
Santa headed to the workshop. The elves and Mrs. Claus waited by the kitchen window. They watched and they listened. One minute passed, then two. It was awful quiet. You could hear a snowflake fall. I don't hear anything, said Mrs. Claus. Tist. It's not working, moaned the postmaster elf. Then there came a faint rumble, a distant chuckle, and finally a mighty boom, a familiar and oh so jolly. Ho, ho, ho. Santa's ho, ho, ho was back. Aww. Look at that. The people are cheering. The reporters in the photographs heard. The folks in town heard it. Everyone everywhere around the world heard it. Mrs. Claus jumped for joy and glee. And the reindeers pranced and danced. Look at that extra. It's in the newspaper. Santa thanked everyone for their pictures, especially Holly. He promised that this would be the merriest, jolliest Christmas ever. And look at that. Dear Santa, sometimes I have a bad day. I'm crabby. I can't laugh. I look very silly. Here's what I look like when then I drew it for you. I hope it makes you laugh. Merry Christmas, love, Holly. Oh my goodness. This is what Holly looks like when she has a bad day. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you remember to laugh and smile. Good night, sweetheart. Sweet dreams and know that Nani loves you.